I'm quite confused about how I feel about the Neon Demon. It seems to be well received. It's got 6.2 out of 10 on IMDb across over 84,000 reviews. So in general, it seems to have done well for itself. But part of me feels like it was all style and no substance. And when I say style, I do mean style. This is one of the most visually beautiful films I have ever seen. So this was released in 2016, directed and written by Nicholas Winding Ref, Refn. I almost definitely mispronounced that and I apologise, and stars Elle Fanning. The description from IMDb is as follows. An aspiring model, Jessie is now is new to LA. However, her beauty and youth, which generate intense fashion fascination and jealousy within the fashion industry, may prove themselves sinister. This is marketed on IMDb as a horror thriller. Definitely wouldn't say it's a horror. Um, but a thriller, certainly. And a thriller based on the fashion world? That's definitely got my interest. So, of course, Elle Fanning plays Jessie, and she looks absolutely fantastic in this film. The makeup, makeup and costume department is ridiculously strong. We have a brilliant cast in this, and I think this was probably the first Keanu Reeves film I saw. He's not in it abundantly, but um, I expect that that is the case. So, basically, it's just about a young model in the fashion world and very dark and sinister things begin to happen and that's all I'm going to say because I do think that visually when these dark and sinister things happen it's very engaging and very compelling it is you know the, the lighting in this film is absolutely exquisite visually it's one of just the most gorgeous films I've ever seen and you know for that reason I enjoyed watching it but I didn't enjoy following it and that's because the narrative lets itself down. So when the thrilling things happen, I'm not sitting here thinking, oh, I'm scared, this is terrifying, what's around the corner, what's going to happen next? Is that person a threat? I don't care. I'm not engaged with the narrative whatsoever. But when the thrilling things do happen, I am looking at the screen going, oh, that's an interesting bit of editing, that's nice camera work. So because I'm narrative-driven... I know you know some people prefer visual beauty. Some people like me prefer a juicy narrative. Because I'm narrative driven, it really did let me down in that respect. But visually, it is a triumph. It is an it is a piece of art. It is a work of art. It is visually exceptionally beautiful and stunning. Everything about it on screen is just breathtaking. It just doesn't have the narrative to go along with it. Would I recommend it? Oh, I absolutely I would recommend it. Because it is absolutely stunning. And I didn't see this in the cinema, but I imagined seeing this on the big screen. This the, Visually, it would have been amazing, but I think my attention would have wandered quite quickly. But I do recommend it. Just don't expect a narrative that is the most compelling thing you've ever seen. But you can expect a gorgeous piece of art that is really stunning to look at. It certainly has its merits.